Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to start at the top. Halifax remains in the top spot because they didn't play. They're the top team from last week. Yeah. No one did and anything. If, if Buffalo sweeps the weekend, I think we have a conversation. True. There, but we but don't. It didn't yeah, happen. because they went one on one. They so, split. So where do we? Let's the start with Buffalo. The conversation begins yeah. at number two. And at number two, I have the team that beat Buffalo on Sunday. You see, I was almost there. I actually had Toronto ahead of Buffalo for a second and then put Buffalo at number Why? two. Why? Buffalo. I'm going to pull these two see, teams See, you, you look here. at Toronto, you're like, oh, they're the hottest team in the league. Buffalo has still won five of the last six games. It's not like they have been struggling as, as of late so far. Buffalo 6-2, and two, so they have one more win, which matters to me. Yeah. Toronto at 5-2. and two. Then I looked at some of what Buffalo, who have they lost to? They lost to Halifax and Toronto. Yep. Toronto's lost to New England and Buffalo. New Toronto already has a loss to Buffalo, so you can't, I mean, that sort of evens out in my mind. It's a coin flip. I, however, the thing that stands out to me is what Toronto has done overall against the North Division. And you're looking at this, and it may be the best division in all of the NLL, is you have your top three teams, the Rock 4-1 and one against that division, with wins over the Bandits and the Thunderbirds. They are okay. the only team in the whole league to beat both of those teams who are considered two of the top teams in the league. All right, I... I see that. I, I understand that completely. Yeah. The division's important. Buffalo wins at New England. Where's, where's New England? Right there. Yep. Wins at Philly. A win at Georgia. And then they beat Toronto as well. They're good wins. That's a better resume than Toronto. All right. We can keep Buffalo there. I'm, I'm going recent. I, for me, it was recency bias. Toronto beats them. But you can also say back end of a two-game weekend. It was a big travel weekend for Buffalo. Had to go to Vancouver, Vancouver back, to to back to Toronto on Sunday. That's a lot. So I understand it. So let's we can keep Buffalo at two wow, and thanks. bring Toronto down here at three. Wow. I, okay. Honestly, it was a coin flip between the two. I will say, uh, these three teams, all in the North Division, three of the top four scoring offenses in the whole what, league. And what's fascinating about Toronto, I love Toronto. I, don't, I, I think these two are, are vir like you said, coin flip virtually even. They don't have any players in the top 20 in scoring in the entire league. Dan Dawson keeps playing the way he is. Rob Hellier, Dan Dawson are, are both. But that says but, yeah, something no, to right. me about maybe something about their depth and the defense they've been playing. Figuring um, it out. And they don't have that star with, with their guys out, which doing this without Tom Shriver and Adam Jones impressive. is Very really, impressive. really impressive. So, when they come back, I can see them making that leap for yeah, sure. I, they when they, should when make those that guys leap. come if back. If they do, yeah. they, this is going to be a very scary team. Absolutely. Uh, Georgia at four? Yeah. Stay in there? Yeah, let's do it. Georgia at four. They didn't play this week, no, right? So, no, they're off. So we, uh, we get Georgia, bring them up here to four. Here we go. Georgia at four. Okay. And I got New England has just dropped down a spot because Toronto moves up, staying there at five. Yeah, I think Toronto sort of jimmied things around a little yeah. bit. Sort of made everyone move down a Nothing little bit. Nothing bad for Georgia and New England. They didn't play this week. So, yeah. the, you know. New England still, I'm really interested to see what they do after those two straight home losses. Uh, they're in the middle of a six-game homestand. The Black Wolves are. So, you lose another one at home here, you're in a little bit of trouble and starting to move down the rankings. So that gets us to the six and seven spots. For me, oh, I can't wait. Let's see. I've got the rush with that you win over Colorado making a slight jump up here to number six. Ow. Oh, I like the, the win over changed. Colorado. I, I, I did. I like the win over Colorado and. You know, Philadelphia's off, and I'm gonna go recency bias. Wow. The, the rush, we're able to get that done. I can't believe. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. I, I completely agree because I was obviously touted You've the rush been last high on week. The rush, yeah. Um, and, and I know the win. Like you look at the win over Colorado, and you're like, oh well, they're in the bottom of our power rankings. Colorado's still a good team. They yeah. have some good wins this year. They just they've struck. They've just hit a little bit of a speed bump in my mind as of late. I think they're going to compete. I mean, the, the West Division at this point. I mean, Saskatchewan's your top team, and they're at six and haven't been overly. They were even that impressive this weekend. Somebody has to come out of it. And Saskatchewan and Colorado have historically too close, low-scoring games between those two, as we mentioned coming in. Uh, Finding a way, and they needed to. Fascinating about Saskatchewan. Number one defense, 12th ranked offense. They've taken the most shots. And you've got to think with the guys on that team, with the experience, those are going to start going in. They have right? to figure it out. I mean, you got Matthews and uh, Church. And, and Shatler. I mean, they've got a really good team. Uh, McIntosh. Yeah. Like, team's really good. You think they'd be point, a little more dominant. At some point, right? they got to figure it out. Yeah. You know? I, I, I would hope Maybe so. Maybe they figure, you know, late... 
veteran team figured it out down the stretch. I mean, you look at the West. I think it's a fascinating division at this point. I mean, Calgary, defending champs at 11, probably shouldn't be that down there at this point. Yeah, the season shouldn't. for them. And, and they are primed. They could probably – they're one of those teams that can beat anybody at any time. Colorado has some good wins. Vancouver playing really good defense too. San Diego is awesome. Stott's back. That West division – we talk about the North. That West division is a bear because you never be know what's going to happen. going to be wild. And uh, Calgary getting Dane Doby back. That's going to be big as well. We'll see how that changes everything in that division, too. Wide open, but here are your panel rankings. Halifax, still at number one.